Hey, what's up my little bats? My name is Nira, and today I'm going to discuss with you about Pendles. So, if you don't know who Pendles is, Pendles is the new character that got released with the DLC. As a matter of fact, whenever you open up Battleborn, you'll see this little thing at the bottom. Or it might just open up fully. Sometimes it does that to me. Um, and besides the fact that there's a double XP event, which is why I've been doing nothing but playing Battleborn all weekend. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is! Pendles is now available. Um, I have the Digital Deluxe Edition, so, like, it's pretty much the Season Pass, obviously. Well, it comes with the Season Pass, but anywho. Um, I have the super stealthy snake-like assassin, and he has sneakers. That's actually how they, um, uh, on the Battleborn website and on the Battleborn Facebook page, the, the way they advertised him was a super stealthy, sneaky snake assassin with sneakers. All the sus 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 But anywho, so that's who Pendles is. Pendles is, he's a new character. You can buy him for the 47,500 uh, credits, which are the blue coins up there next to my name, if you can see them in the top left corner. Or if you have the Season Pass or Digital Deluxe Edition, whatever, uh, you end up getting what's called a Hero Key and it automatically unlocks him, which is why I already have him unlocked and everything. The other character that came out the same way was Alani. She was for the Eldreds. There'll be, a, a, I think, three more characters coming out. Yeah, we'll be getting an LLC character, a Peacekeeper, and a Generate. Uh, I think the next one to come out is the Peacekeeper. I'd love to see the Generate that they're going to come out with, but... We got, now Now we have Eldred, which was Alani, and Pendles is our rogue, and we're going to focus on Pendles. So, Pendles, as you can see, I've already mastered him, if you know, you know, about it, if you know about Battleborn. Uh, if you don't know about Battleborn, and maybe you're interested into knowing what all this is, um, <clears throat> sorry. Pretty much, whenever you master a character... You get a the black and purple skin, which is actually my favorite skin. And it means that you have leveled them up to max, which is level 15. And that you have complete, com completed all of their lore. So just to get into who is Pendles. Because I'm sure if none of you have played Pendles, and maybe you're like me and you really like backstory. I love backstory, so that's what I like about the lore. Is that you actually have to play with the character um, a lot and unlock these lores to actually find out about the character. So one of them is really simple. It's just his weapons. It's the commas. So it's a pair of single hand sickles ideal for quick slicing and disarming. But why take their weapon when you can take their head? In his left hand is a reclaimed skull, femur, and ribs from a Cormiri Aviant or Aviant. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Leather straps for style. Uh, then in the right hand is a modified Bliss Tech Ice Climbing Axe, Ma Macer Hardened, sorry, I can't read, Tritanium with Ergonomic Grip. So that's, that's his weapons, which you can see here. Uh, the one of, actually, the one of the ta taunts that I love so much that he uses one of his commas for is the Puppet Show. I love that taunt so much. Um, so this taunt right here, we're gonna get into this real quick. This taunt right here you actually unlock if you, um, is it one of his lores? Yeah, it's one of his lores. It's the word of warning, and that's tentacle slap enemy battleborns 50 times. So, you literally just run around and you slap people with your tentacles, and that's how you get this one. This is just the normal one that you get, the normal taunt you get with Pendles. And then this is the uh, level 15 taunt. So back into the lore. <clears throat> Let's go look at this word of warning. Which is his, um... Which is the tentacle slap lore. That's what it is. There we go. Alright, so Galt. Benedict here. I just wanted to talk... I just heard... Ah, I can't read. I just heard talk that you're thinking of bringing on that row of Pendles. Ain't going to question your judgment or nothing, but there's something I think you should know about him. About 15 years ago, I was still hot on the beak about what happened on Medic B. 
So I did what I always do and found somewhere dark that served old Carusa nectar by the terrine. No idea how long I was there, but I'm sure the establishment in question wasn't too far from charging me rent. You know me, I talk. I talk when I'm glad, and boy do I talk when I'm mad. Everyone in the joint was getting an earful about how much I hated my old MSBC commander, this old Kamiri son of a hen and nodding politely. Because that's what you do when you're when a nectared up boatio fucking something with a rocket launcher tells you a story. The only one I could tell was actually listening was this kid. He didn't look like he does now. Still had both eyes, tentacles for both arms, wasn't all dressed up the way he does now. He was real quiet, just taking everything in around him. He looked like it was his first time out of the pond, and it turned out it was. I was spewing all sorts of stuff, real dumb talk. The kind you only get from an aviant who thinks he'll never fly again. What I might have said, what I hope I didn't say, because then what happened next wouldn't be my fault, was something like, I wish that tender beak bastard was dead, really, and I'd buy around for whoever got him too. Well, anyone normal who hears that laughs it off, knows it's all bluster, but this must have been the first time out in the wild, you know? It's like that Magnus who they told to make paper clips at maximum efficiency, efficiency chewed up an entire SAR system and its population before they could shut him down. Someone just wanted cheaper office supplies and ended up killing 4 billion people. <laughs> so this kid hears me, supposedly. Says, I w say I want my old commander dead. Gets up. Leaves the establishment. A few hours later, he walks back in. He's got a limp, his eyes burnt up, and he's holding something. The Kamiri bastard might have put up one hell of a fight. He was a 30-year veteran of the MSBC, and scales there took look da, 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 took him down, unarmed. Thought he was fulfilling a contract. Obviously, I freaked out. I told him to get out of the system before the peacekeeper started looking for him, or worse, connected him to me, or connected me to him. Sorry, he tried to give me the old pal's head and I told him to take it with him he thought I was saying it was like a trophy few years later I start seeing these ads he'd gone pro made a business for himself executive executions he call it now I ain't one to judge the love of killing Galt but you just watch yourself around him and don't ever ever ask him for a paperclip so that's a little backstory on uh one of his commas so that head is that, uh, the commander that, um, Benedict was talking about. And now there's this one. This one's a voice thing, so you guys gotta listen. Denizens of Solus! Ever have one of those problems that you just can't solve on your own? Trouble with the boss? Disputes with a neighbor? Or irreconcilable differences with a spouse and their lucrative life insurance policy? Have you ever thought to yourself, gosh, I can make all this go away with the judicious application of cold-blooded murder, but I'm a bit too soft-hearted to swing the axe myself. Then you need to call on executive executions. I'm conductor Pendles Lacana, sole proprietor and star assassin of E.E. E. And I'm here to tell you that there isn't any problem that a good old-fashioned assassination can't solve. And after scores of successful hits all around the tattered remnants of the cosmos, and the darkening of my own star, of course, I'm bringing my tried and true services to Solis. Sure, the universe may be ended, and that's a big problem for all of us. But that doesn't mean we don't have all kinds of little problems that still need solving, and throats what need slitting. And those problems won't be coming back once I'm through with them. That's a Pendle's promise, trademark pendant. Once you've contracted with executive executions, you can rest assured that you've hired the most cold-blooded, black-hearted killer in the cosmos. And that killer's commitment to customer service, second to none. We take all contracts without exception. No target is too big, too small, too elderly, or too adorable. So why stand around waiting for the object of your hatred to expire of old age? Take action! Call on executive executions today and bury those problems six feet under. Alright. There you go. That's the executive executions that Benedict was talking about before. That was like a toxic lifestyle. <clears throat> Evening, love. I know you're still mad. It's just, really, how often do I get to explain what pants are? Of course! I'll have a little fun and say you wear them on your arms. Honestly, it's like you've never heard of a practical joke before, which, 
on a second thought. I suppose you actually haven't been stuck on Nakapos your whole life. That's actually the reason I'm writing you. I was hoping I could plumb for plumb you for information about my people, specifically our life cycles and why my scales are falling off like bloody parade confetti. Cheers! And this was to Pendles. I don't know who he was talking to. Jerk. We learned much from the Roa, but they should... Oh, he's talking to Alani. Jerk. We learned much from the Roa, but they've shared very little about their own lives. I only came in contact with Elder Roa, who had made their final transition long ago. You were only supposed to be gone from Akapos a few years. Maybe you're just becoming an old snake. Alani. Uh, that's precisely what I'm worried about, love. I ain't keen on losing me limbs. Pouncing around like a giant eel is all well and good on an ocean in the ocean world, but we're in the middle of bloody space! I can't expect to keep business up if I can't even walk. You nano what's its they can regenerate cells, right? Help a fellow sea buddy out. Pendles. The best I could hope to do is to stall the transition. I can't undo any progress it's already made. Have you shown any other symptom yet? Just the aforementioned scale shedding, some mild joint pain, headaches, etc. Nothing too worrisome. It's probs auto dictate enabled. Oh sweet mother, my bloody arm fell off. <laughs> All right. So what I've gathered so far out of this is that that arm that's hold uh, just fucking stop moving. This arm right here is not a real one. That's 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 what I've gathered from it. Anyways, back to the last lore. All right. Hi, Miss Val Valeria. Oh, hi, Miss Valeria. It's Toby. You know, your loyal mech-clad follower. You probably don't remember me. After all, you've got a lot in your mind, and meet a whole lot of people in a given day. And on top of that, I'm not altogether memorable. And just look, just look up what. Just look up my Holonet profile if you need a refresher. I'm sorry for the long preamble. I'm just sorry for apologizing just then. That one too. So, per your directive to be on the lookout for any mercs that might benefit from permanent em employee in the rogues, I wanted to get someone on your radar. His name is Pendaka Lokana, but he goes by Pendles. And boy, he's a super swell guy. Curry is professional and one of the sharpest assassins in Solus. He's running an outfit he calls Executive Executions. And he's got a great referral program. If you hire him, I get a free hit on the house. And I know exactly who I'll use it on. Not you, naturally. I'm very satisfied with my job. Also, you're the best, boss. The records are a bit on the spotty side, but from what I've managed to dig up on the guy it is pretty remarkable. His race, the Roa, come from Akapos. And if that name sounds familiar, yeah! It's the same ocean world that the Eldred monk Alani hails from. Did you see my report on her? Was it too long? Sorry about that. It was probably way too long. <clears throat> He's been making a heck of a name for himself since coming to Solus. Assassinating left and right like it was going out of style. I think our little outfit will really benefit bringing him aboard. It for no other reason than occupying his time so he's not hired to kill. You know, one of us. See my attached report for more details, Miss Valeria. Toby's got a good eye for killers. I worry about that little squirt. That being said, oh, this isn't even his voice. Whoops. Toby's got a good eye for the killers. I worry about that little squirt. That being said, I think he's onto something here. If this guy's as lethal as this report indicates, we could definitely find a use for him. And as Toby says, better with us than against us. Alright. There's all the lore on Pendles. Yay! So, <clears throat> as lore on Pendles, so... It's actually pretty all interesting, honestly, to, to, I friggin' words, I can't, words, what are they? Ah! 
But yeah, so it's honestly pretty interesting to uh, find out more about him because, you know, just looking at him, he looks like a crazy killer with like a British Australian accent, kind of. Yeah, British Australian accent. But anyways, that's not what we're here about. We're more here to go over Pendles and figure out more, uh, not the lore, because we just did the lore. Uh, just, you know, go over his information, um, his helix, and easy ways to level him up quickly. So, if you haven't gotten this by now, he's a fucking assassin. So, you're not gonna run up straight up to somebody and, like, kamikaze yourself into them. You, you wanna be stealthy, which really isn't that hard to be stealthy. So... We're, we're gonna go over his abilities real quick. So his passive ability is Corner Sneak. Pendle's cloak activates when out of line of sight of enemies. Pendle's movement speed increases while cloaked, but decreases while uncloaked. You have guys have no idea how honestly useful that is. Like, you all you really have to do is the second you get out of, uh, out of the line of sight of an enemy, uh, whether it be another actual player or you're playing story mission, uh, he runs so fast, and he immediately cloaks. So it's great. So you're pretty much invisible. I mean, you can still, you can still see him, like, kind of. But if you're not really paying attention, you're and you're not looking for him, you won't see him coming. Uh, so his weapons are the dual commas and throwing stars. Pendle's primary attack use a lot utilizes his dual car. Fucking words. What are they? His dual commas in a flurry of strikes, while his secondary attacks hurls a ranged throwing star. Now, the throwing star, honestly, does not do a whole lot of damage. But if you get somebody with those commas and you're kind of just circling around them to where they really can't hit you or you get them from behind, it definitely does a lot. The throwing star, I would recommend, honestly, if you're playing something like, um... Something like, uh... Incursion? No. Yeah, incur- No, not incursion. Meltdown. If you're playing something like Meltdown, and you need to take out, say, a, um, a turret or something, the throwing stars come in handy because you don't have to get up in its face and take all that damage. Um, because for a rogue, Pendles does not have a lot of health. His health isn't the greatest- I'm gonna see, is there anywhere that I can see where his health's at? No. That's a pain in the ass. That sucks! But yeah, so, Pendles does not have a lot of health, though. I mean, his shield is decent, but compared to the other rogues, it's... He's so reliant on that... He's so reliant on the, the, um, the stealth. Um, so his talent is Snakeborn. Pendles' natural evasive abilities grant him, uh, minus 25% CC duration. CC stands for, uh, crowd control. Um, which is actually how you get one of the, uh, lures, is getting out of crowd control. Yeah, a hundred times. Alright, so, skill one. Smoke bomb. Pendle throws a smoke bomb at his feet, dealing 67 damage and an additional 80 damage over two seconds. In addition, it instantly cloaks him. You guys have no idea how honestly helpful that is. So, say you run up to, I don't know, a fucking Ombro, for instance. You run up to Ombro, and you're attacking her... And she turns around and starts attacking you, and your health's low. If you smoke bomb, it immediately cloaks you, and you can run away. So it's great. <clears throat> so skill number two, injection. Pendles applies poison to his commas and viciously strikes enemies for 200 damage, heavenly, heavily slowing the target for two seconds. It's really good as you level him up, you can actually... Uh, make the damage higher or make the poison do more damage over time um what i've noticed is the best thing to do that for uh well to do that with is you end up behind them and then you use injection and you just rape their face uh, and then his ultimate is miasma or miasma however you guys want to pronounce it uh pendles covers himself in an airborne poison poison that deals 248 damage over 10 seconds while miasma is active injections cooldown is reduced and when when it says reduce like it takes two seconds the cooldown is two seconds <clears throat> 
So while you have Miasma active and these enemies that are trying to attack you are taking that 248 damage. Oh, is that 248? Yeah, 248 damage over 10 seconds. You're also on top of that dealing that 200 damage uh, with the injection about every two seconds or so. It's really good. He is a decently hard character to learn how to play if you've never played him before. Or if you're somebody who likes to be up in people's faces. Is really not the best, honestly. Um, <clears throat> but let's go over his helix real quick, and then we're gonna do um, a short little match, just to just to give you a look at how he plays. Um, so per per every helix, two sides. Uh, <laughs> you have the heightened senses side, and then the trained assassin side. So for rank one, the one I usually go for is I go for Cobra Strike, which is Pendles will dash forward a short distance upon activation of injection. Really helps out a lot. It um if you're chasing somebody down, this really works. Uh, the other one is Poison Cloud and increases the duration of Smoke Bomb's Poison Cloud. I've never honestly used Poison Cloud to actually be, like, hurting someone. I've more used Poison Cloud specifically just to get away. Like, as, like, a, oh shit, I'm out. Uh, rank 2, Flash Bomb. Enemies hit by Smoke Bomb are blinded for a short time, plus one second blind duration. Or ninja ring, which is smoke bombs can be thrown, can now be thrown. So a lot of people like to go with that ninja ring. Uh, I've seen people use that very well. I personally don't use it. I've never used it actually. <laughs> I, I've actually, you know, I have once, uh, but I haven't found it all that helpful. I prefer to blind them. Because, like I said, you can still kind of see Pendles if you're looking for him. Now, if a Pendles comes up, starts attacking you, and then just disappears, you're going to start looking for him. And you could possibly be, be seen running away. Now, if you blind them, that gives you a second to get out of wherever you are. <clears throat> um, rank 3 is... Uh, you have Mamba's Bite, which adds a lifesteal effect to Pendles commas. You get a plus 15% lifesteal. Or... Uh, Pendle's melee attacks deal increased damage from behind, plus uh, 25 damage. But if you have the uh, mutation, it's Flurry of Blows, every successive melee hit increases Pendle's attack speed up to 20% uh, attack speed. I don't really use the, uh, the mutation that often. I honestly usually do the lifesteal because, like I said, Pendle's has very low health for a rogue. So, you kind of need that lifesteal, so that way, even if you're attacking somebody and say you haven't had a chance to heal yourself, that Mamba's Bite is going to come in handy. It's going to help you get health back. I mean, come on, it's what the fuck lifesteal is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so, the fuck are we on? We're on four. Alright, so four. Life Leech. Uh, a portion of health damage dealt by injection is returned to Pendles as health. So that's some, you know, another 60% lifesteal. Honestly, if you're doing um, injection and just normal attacking, that's 75% uh, lifesteal. That's actually pretty, pretty good. If you have the mutation, it's Potent Venom. Increases the duration of injection's slow effect, plus one slow second duration. Um, I've never, well, I've used that one a couple of times. It's honestly not that great, I have to say. Uh, I mean, it slows them, but they all know that you have shit for health. They ain't worried about running. Unless their health is extremely low, they're not worried about running. They're gonna focus on trying to kill you, so I don't know. That's why I really don't use that one. And then Savage Cut is enemies affected by injection suffer additional poison damage. That one I have used a few times. Um, it's the one I more prefer. Just because, <clears throat> even if you end up having to run away, they're still getting poisoned. So, yay! So, number five. Uh, cloak and cover. Pendles takes reduced damage while cloaked. Uh, snake eyes. When corner sneak is activated, Pendles can briefly reveal major enemies through walls or escape plan. When uncloaked and taking damage, Pendles smoke bomb cooldown is reduced up to 100% cooldown time. I always go for escape plan. Because you always need an escape plan. Come on. So yeah, so you always go for escape plan. Just just for the fact that, like I said, I always use smoke bomb when I need to 
get out of somewhere quickly. So, escape plans the way I go. It's the way I would suggest to go as well. Uh, and then there's Fent, or Faint, mm, fucking, I don't know. And then Sweet Spot. So Faint is Smoke Bomb propels Pendles backwards. Uh, sweet Spot is increases injections <clears throat> damage dealt from behind. So plus 25% damage. Um, is there another? I think there's another one of those. Yeah. Oh, this is melee attack. So, I mean, if you get the backsta backstab um, on level 3... And you get this one, that's that's about plus 50% damage you're doing with just normal attacks as long as you stay behind them. I usually go with the propelling backwards because, again, escape plan. It propels you backwards, you just turn around and go. It's gone. <laughs> uh, coiled spring increases the height of Pendle's jump. Uh, poison blood, Pendle's reflex a portion of melee damage back to the attackers, plus 15 damage reflection. And Pendles throws additional throwing stars in every throw, plus two throwing stars. So, like I said earlier, you're not really going to be using those throwing stars that a whole often. So, I personally go for once I unlocked, um, once I unlocked the mutation, I just went with Poison Blood because that really helps, especially with this double XP week and a lot of people are leveling up melee characters like Wrath, uh, Galilea, and such. So poison Blood definitely comes in handy. If you don't have Poison Blood, I mean, choose one. It really, I, I, I don't see really a thing for either. You could go for Coil Springs and height, uh, increase the height of the jump, but I don't see a point in it, honestly. Um, Bountiful Bombs reduces Smoke Bomb's cool time. Minus 20% cool time. Uh, from the shadows, activating smoke bomb increases the damage of the next use of injection, plus 15% damage, and increases smoke bomb's damage, plus 38% damage. Now, before I got the mutation, I always went with um, reducing the cooldown. A couple of times I did go with the Cidic Blast and I increased the damage, but since I've unlocked the mutation, I go with from the shadows because you fucking that is so goddamn helpful. Because uh, if if Earlier at rank 2, you chose to choose the blinding effects to your smoke bombs. You just blinded them, and you're getting extra damage on your injection. And depending on what else you've chose throughout this, you could possibly be doing a lot of damage. A lot of poison damage with your, that injection. And then, of course, you know, your regular comma damage. And then, uh, 9 is Relentless Strikes. Pendle's melee attacks reduces injection's cooldown. So, a minus 0.5 second cooldown. Or slippery, Pendles becomes more resistant to crowd control effects for a short time after using injection. I always went with, re um, <clears throat> sorry, relentless strikes because injection's really helpful. You get to poison in the enemy and you're doing a pretty decent amount of damage. It's about 200 damage every time you hit them. So reducing that cool time will definitely help you out. And say you were to use Miasma, that you're, you're literally waiting a second to be using um, injection again. And then finally, level 10, Necrosis. Enemies affected by Miasma's aura are wounded up to, temp per, uh, up to 10 seconds wound duration. If you don't know what wounding is, by the way, wounding is they cannot be healed by anybody. So say they have a healer on their team and you're hitting them with, uh, you're hitting that, uh, a character with Miasma, they can't be healed. So that definitely helps out. Um, and then Venom syn Synergy? Synergy? I don't know. While Miasma is active, Injection's damage is increased against enemies with less than 50% health plus 20% damage. Honestly, these both are very, very good because... Um, fucking reasons, apparently, that I can't think of. Alright, yeah, so they're both really good because if you're using Venom Synergy, which is what I used for a, uh, a while, you are doing a lot of damage because it's 20% damage uh, that's getting added, you're actually doing a decent amount of damage to anyone who has less than 50% health, and pretty much whoever has less than 50% health, and if you have Miasma active with this, they're dead. Just end the story, they're dead. Uh, <clears throat> with Necrosis, that's something more if if you really don't think that you, that you can get them below 50% health, or maybe you're soloing it, and you can't do it. You just can't get them below 50% health by yourself, Go with Necrosis. Because I know a lot of times, especially with multiplayer, people don't exactly know how to stick together. So, it becomes a pain in the ass. And Necrosis will definitely help you with that. 
just went over and told you guys everything that I prefer with the Helix. We went over the lore. Um, I don't know if you guys want to go over appearance, but it's really not that much. So this isn't just normal pendles when you get them. It's what he looks like. Um, if any of you guys have played Battleborn, you know how the color colors go. They all, they all go in order. They're all the same colors for everybody. They just look different, obviously, per character. So you got the normal, then you go blue and red, which this one is the Amulin Indigo. And then after that, you get the Copperhead, which is the yellow and green. <clears throat> or orange and green. I don't fucking know. It's like yellow on some people. It's orange on other people. I don't know, guys. What do you want me to do? Um, yeah, so you got, the, you got this one, and then it goes to the pink. It's always pink. Some people look good with it. Some people don't. So this is the Coral Snake one. It's really interesting. I never really liked this. I think it's just because I don't like pink. Fucking hate the color pink. With a passion. And then, but right before you master it, you get the Garter Snake, which is the green skin. This one's pretty cool. I actually, I, I'm not a fan of the color green, but I actually really like this one. And then, of course, you get the uh, Black Mamba. Which honestly just makes me think about Kill Bill, if any of you guys have seen that. But yeah, then there's the Black Mamba, and I, that's my favorite one. And then if you want, you can buy this skin, which is the Steel skin. It just looks weird in my opinion. So. Well, now that we've gone over everything, let's go ahead and play a quick match uh, with Pendles. Yay! Um, For time's sake... We're not going to do a public match because I don't have the time for that. I don't think anybody does, really. So, we'll just do a... Uh, we'll, we'll actually make this pretty even. Nah, we won't. We'll put three bots on my team. Three on that team. Alright. So, um, I don't know. We'll just do that. <laughs> So yeah, so we're just gonna we're gonna test them out. What I've noticed honestly best for pendles is capture maps are the way to go with pendles. If you're honestly trying to win the match, <laughs> if you want or if you want an easy usually it's an easy win if you're if you have pendles. Um usually capture is the way to go because you're invisible 90% of the time. So you can kind of just run in and um murder his face. Fuck, there was one other thing I wanted to go over. You know, we're gonna get out of this and we're gonna do that real quick because I just realized. I wanted to go over the gear for Pendles real quick. I'm gonna do it two seconds. Because I'm an idiot and I planned this episode out and didn't even keep to my own schedule because I'm dumb as all in holy hell. <laughs> oh my god. So let's go over to gear. <laughs> Cause I'm dumb. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I have each gear thing set up for each character that I'm working on or that I have completed. Uh, so this is my Pendles one. So I have the Agile Stinger, which is an uncommon gear. Uh, you get plus 7.66% 6 attack damage, and then plus 3.53% uh, movement speed for five seconds after landing a critical hit, which usually works unless you're facing a big character like Montana or Atticus. Uh, a lot of times it's pretty easy to get that uh, critical damage. And I mean, Pendles is already a fast character to begin with. This is just upping that movement speed even higher. Uh, now for legendary gear, I have the Maronista. Uh, you get plus 117 maximum shield strength. Because like I said, he does not have that great shield and health. So this kind of just helps it out. And then you get minus 3.50% cooldown time. And then, uh, bullets that hit your shield have a 17.07% .07 chance to reflect back at your attacker. That just sounds really good to me. I don't know about any of you guys, but I like the sound of that. That's why it's in there. And then this one is Worm Skin Kicks. This is... You get this when Pendles hits, uh, level 15. So this is... And as you can see, it says Pendles only. Or, well, he gets that, that extra effect with only him. Whatever. Um, so you get plus 4.80% movement speed, uh, minus 6% crowd control duration, and then the Pendle's only effect is attacking with injection from stealth wounds the enemy for 5 seconds. 
So that's pretty cool. That's my that's my loadout. Honestly, um, I'm more focused on getting in, fucking someone's face up, and then getting out. That's what I focus on with pendles. Of course, I mean, you can always go ahead and have your own gear loadout for him. Uh, like, for instance, my Galilea. Let's just throw her in there, for example. Um, her loadout has a bonus skill... Uh, bonus shards per second and um, bonus skill damage for killing minions and that's because I use her on, on incursion and meltdown a lot so I'm killing them a lot and I'm using shards a lot so depending on your favorite uh, game type to play of course depends on probably what your gear is going to be I prefer to play pendles on capture maps which is why his movement speeds all the way up there <coughs> Now, to go on to what we were trying to fucking do, because I'm an idiot and I forgot to do that originally. Alright. We'll just do Outback for... because it's there. <laughs> and if... I'm sorry if anybody who's watching this does not know what battle... like, anything about Battleborn. Capture is literally capture the flag. It's pretty straightforward. You'd be surprised how many people don't understand that. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, so I think the next video I'm going to do is actually going to be about Galilea. So, whoa, not Galilea. I do not want to choose her right now. I want to choose Pendles. And Black Mamba and Rome Funeral Jig. Bump, 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 bump. I like his little dance he does. He's like, pew, 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 pew. Yeah. Alright, so I know it's a little little unfair but whatever so we're facing a reina a galt and a boulder should be interesting now i already went over what i'm usually going to choose so i'm just going to do this quickly because this is what i usually do is i just open it do it and then run um so that's the injection boost ah, it's gonna lag out for me it's gonna suck Lives. Three, two. I'm lagging so bad. The lag. See, I'm Jesus fucking balls, dude. If I had time to be seen, there's nobody over here. Now you can see me, now you don't. And I really hope this lag stops. Ah, you fuck douchebag. I suck. I hate my life. Also, fucking lag is like what's me. But the is kill steal what lost i'm oh, am i going to go rip right yeah fucking joy That, but apparently I don't know what I'm doing with my life and I'm just video is not gonna be fuck out of here boulder where are you where are you where are you I'm gonna get you you got me <laughs> I can't I Oh my god, it's so hard to play. Whatever. Really, just... You guys get the point of And this lag... So... Oh 
my god. As you can see, fight. It's just better. But thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later. Man.